Blanket metal work. Um, today we want to uh, remove uh, some destruction tests and banding. I got an L max at uh, 63 Rockwell. The thickness is uh, 0.1 inch, which is 2.5 millimeter. Today the test length, banding test length is uh, I mark for a centimeter here. So from this neck to this point, where the thickness for the test is that. So I have a D2 and I got this tape on, it's a 61 Rockwell and it has 2.79 millimeter and I'm going to have the same test length too and right here to here and this is D2 is 66 Rockwell and uh, it has 3.05 millimeter and this is CBM 3V, 62 Rockwell. I tested a lot with it, and the version, oh, hmm, hopefully, and this didn't get out of frame. This is just fairly special because it's uh, my heat treat version 1.5, which I call the element gradients, meaning that the outer of the skin here is uh, is uh, have a lower carbon and, and also have some chrome partitioning and I have to go inside a little deeper to get the hard rock where hardness and we'll test this length. So let's start out with uh, D2 at 61 here. So that we got it correctly. So just pretend this is a handle and I'm going to do, this is block of African black wood and this uh, wood here is also African black wood so that it softens the uh, flex and I'm going to do simple fill elasticity here. It's, I don't know whether I'm going to break or call this chip. I just had to have some chip on it, but you know, if it was brittle, then it will stress rise. It also, like a betray here, I mean, the point line here, they will crack there. But the band probably going to break down here. So I'm going to band and release it to see that it goes straight. Band it, release it. And so the angle bending is pretty much a vertical line and the line, far tangent line, which is the line called this uh, handle block of this piece of wood here. So, so that to be a reference. And okay, so so that is the you can see the any ductility or elasticity. Uh, I mean pl plasticity, in other words, virtually none because the blade is straight. And next up is the D2, it has 66 surface.
Here you can see I mean, this line right here is a pretty sharp angle. So, I mean, when you bend it, I think it still will bend more if it was the wood a little softer, so you don't have such a sharp angle here, but that's okay. I think it just seems as all be they all the same. So we know what it's like. And this 56, so <laughs> it had a fairly low uh, elastic, see? and of course no plastic or ductility here, but you can see it's a uh, Not very far, as you can see, it's, uh, you can probably see the grain a little bit, it's pretty fine grain. I just want to see what the, it takes, but I think I should do it's a little slow for this one, but uh, again, it breaks right at the sharp point. When you are, uh, say, digging to a 2 by 4 or something, your band going to be, uh, uh, it's not going to be a big a little bit more but right now since I you know, this first set of tests look to be consistent I just want to use this setup and this is a hollow grind you can see the chip and <laughs> I'm testing so now it's time for it's pretty nice blade but uh, People have been asking me to do these flex tests. I already climbed because I feel like so much. You have to do with geometry and how the edge. You're not going to fry your knife like crazy. So, but sometimes that uh, when I've seen I'm going to recycle a lot of the blade and didn't mean I want the three V is I just want to find out my how what has been flux. Okay, this is LMAX. Hollow gray and okay. Bend it. Stay. So we can see elasticity. Elastic steel. Now I want to tilt the top here, basically holding this thing and bending. This one still also breaks right at the line, you can see. So, now what if you do something stuck in the heart, something really hard, rock solid, it will break right at the, uh, the bending radius where the tightest, which is the hard point right there. But that's L match right there. Now 3V at 62. I do expect some uh, noise of the way I do radian there. Well, and because it's a much lower carbide volume, so we'll see how much ductility this uh, 3V has. And so, and also, of course, you know, with this. Uh, At this short distance here, I mean, the bending length is pretty short. And this also has a hollow grain on it. So they're not that much metal, really, because very thin hollow grain. But again, it's, it deflects the band here, so see how far it bends. Just on the hole. Yeah, I haven't collected the bending data much because I interest in the on the edge, where the elasticity and how much it can do. And I'm not into bending the blade. <laughs> so much have to do with the, the thinner it is, the more you can bend. So right now, because it's a hologram, the, the the thickest part is the the, the spine. 
So therefore, that thing going to break, initiate the break before the, the edge, because this is a uniform hardness. But in this case, this is Spencer version 3.15, I expected the band going to be, uh, have more plastic or utility. So, but I want to see what, uh, you can, you can see it, you can see it. I think, I don't know, it looks a little, little bad to me. So I think the, uh, this is 62. And I got a layer, that means the layer outside of here is it like a laminate of itself. It has more uh, ductility to it. But I don't do this heat treat much, very much, because it's, it's destructive. I only can do it once, I can never hit it. Okay. Been too much right at this point, so I got a feeling that uh, it's the problematic, so the angle is, but again, I will see how much it's still been. So it did finally snap, but I think sometimes the telltale, I would say this piece was not this piece, not useful, but the telltale would be the uh, bending radius. Hopefully you can see it. There it is. It just bent right there. So you can see the total foot band, the flex. Okay, let's see. I think the band in mainly is. Uh, I will look at the look like this play can afford to be uh, test again. So anyway, it's still slightly bent along here, but I straighten this out there so you can see that utility on this blade. Oh, I got it. Wow, not this video, my not just dig a little deeper here and get bend the heck out of it and see what happens. I love the high, bring it up here a little bit higher. Okay, now we've got more representation of it, 62. Now this is the, that is heavily plastic deformation right there. It deflects and it's, and it's been severely. So anyway, I think the all depend on the core itself the 62, but the outer one, I think, is they gradually go lower Rockwell. At the very surface, maybe only about 58 Rockwell or something. All right, thanks for watching.